Hey guys, it's Jay. So, I want to just come on here and get my opinion on this whole Cardi B and Offset shit. So, I watched that video of her at Rolling Loud and Offset interrupting her set, pretty much begging her to take him back. Mm -mm -mm. That was a damn shame. That was just like the worst timing, like ever like why would you pick that moment and then the thing about it is like I, it's like really like really like I mean it's been known if you know anything about these two that he's been accused he's it's been so many stories about him cheating on her multiple times throughout their entire relationship you know what I'm saying and, like, he's embarrassed this woman time and time again. Like, you don't do your wife like that. You don't do the mother of your child like that. That's fucked up. And then you pick this moment that's this pivotal moment in her career to pretty much make it about you and kind of pressure her to take you back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. And for rolling loud... For her team, because I'm hearing that her team was in on it, they let they let him do that. It's like what? First of all, she needed to fire all the motherfuckers. Her security, her publicist, whoever, and her team allowed to let this shit go on. Them motherfuckers need to get fired and roll in line for even thinking this shit was cute. Because of course everyone is talking about it, and it's like okay, it's you know what I'm saying it's like. They thinking, all right, it's good for us because we're getting, you know, this shit is going viral and everyone's talking about it. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's fucked up. Like, it's uh, it's just like, I never understood the fact that people who cheat on in their relationships, especially when you're married, it's like, why be married if you're gonna if you're gonna marry me but still cheat on me? Why be married? It's the same thing with like, um, what was it? It was Usher, right? I think it was Usher, like, when he was married to his first wife, he cheated on her. And then, um, I'm thinking the wife that he's currently married to now, he's cheated on her. So, it's like, again, if you're going to cheat, why be married? Just be single. Or unless people have, like, some secret open relationship that we don't know about. But I don't think that's the case with... Cardi and Offset. And a lot of people think this is a publicity stunt. I don't think this is a publicity stunt. I really don't think it's... I don't really think it's that deep to... I mean, because people talking about, oh, it's, you know, because they're coming out with new music. People are going to check out their new music regardless. You know what I'm saying? She's Cardi B and he's Offset. Two of the... Two of some of the biggest artists that's out right now. So people are going to check out their music regardless. I don't think this shit was for a publicity stunt. You know what I'm saying? But when you think about it, it's like, you ain't see Jay-Z pull this bullshit off. Because, I mean, I don't know when he had cheated on her, cheated on Beyonce. But that's like Jay-Z coming out during Beyonce's set at Glastonbury to apologize to her for cheating on her. Like, and if y'all know anything about Beyonce, Glastonbury was like, she headlined Glastonbury. And I think it was like, a hundred thousand people it was like i think like the biggest crowd she's ever performed in her career just imagine jay-z taking his ass on stage you know apologizing to her because he cheated on her and it's like you know what i'm saying and then like i said and then you know you got people like 50 cent in the game and ti pretty much telling her that she should take him back. First of all, T.I. shouldn't say nothing about nobody's relationship. Because T.I. done cheated on his wife. I don't know how many times. The fact that him and his wife are like, I guess, into threesomes. How come in one of these threesomes, he knocks up the other women? How the hell? Really? This is why I'm single. Because I don't got to deal with this bullshit. But... This shit is, I feel bad. I feel bad for Cardi. Like, I really feel bad. Because it's like, you take, you, it's like you took this moment away from her. Like, this was her big moment in her career. And you make it about you. Because you the one decided to fuck every Instagram thought that slid in your DMs. Like, come on now. 
and then, and then, then just like my initial reaction to just the whole breakup, like when the, the girl came out and, you know, spoke about it, talking about the, the, oh, I didn't think the marriage was serious. It's a marriage, girl. Regardless of, yes, he, you know, it's been known that he's cheated on her hell of times, yes, but he's still married. He still has a kid with her. So, what the fuck? So, you're wrong. He's wrong. Regardless, I mean, he's more wrong, but you're you're not innocent in this either, boo. Yeah, but this shit was ridiculous. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like people are now trying to pressure her to take him back. And at the end of the day, the only decision is, is ultimately up to her. If she goes go through with the divorce, that's on her. If she decides to take him back, that's on her as well. But I don't feel like anybody, celebrity or not, should pressure her to do whatever she don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, 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 it's fucked up when you think about it. It really is. But yeah, that's, I mean, I don't know what her people was thinking to even go through with this shit. That's just ridiculous. Anyway, that's, that's just my little tidbit on it. Um, let me know your feelings on this whole situation. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.